Hello and a very warm welcome to Extra Time. Craig's daughter was here earlier. She's gone now. Did you send her home? You, see, you put a picture of her up on uh, on Twitter. She's yeah, I'm gonna do that. She's, uh... No, but it's nice. But it's interesting. Kate Margraff picked up on the fact they looked like it was saying something rude on a T-shirt, which confirmed that it wasn't. What kind of parent do you think I am? Well, well <laughs> I mean, seriously, I prefer not to answer that question. <laughs> Just kind of, it was not a rude word. <laughs> Meanwhile, Shaka, we discussed on Friday your soccer marathon. Yeah. I you played from 1 to 4.30. 1 in the morning till 4.30. 4.30 wow. in the morning. I am still hurting no. Goodness me, Shaq. Fair play. Didn't score a single goal. Three and a half hours of Did football. Did you play in goal? Against parents. A little bit. It's a little bit. Did you concede any goals? Uh, yes, I did. Conceded a couple. Conceded a couple. Well, the parents all, were they those kind of like super energised Excited, running about, uh, headless chicken type, or were they all as, as energized as anybody is? Were they laid back anymore. like you? No one's laid back like Shaq. It was good fun. Let's just leave it there. Yeah, it sounds great fun at that time in the morning. It, it, it was, it was good fun. What were you doing at that time in the morning, Craig? Stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was fast asleep. Where do you rank Icardi amongst the top strikers in the world? He's my in my top three, and yes, he's better than Kane. His goal to chance ratio is ridiculous. The man doesn't miss. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, you know, if Real Madrid were to go out and, I know it's not really hard, but if they were to go out and buy him, I wouldn't be like, oh, that's a bad move. You know, Harry Kane's better than Lewandowski, but he, he's, a, he's a damn good player. The only people that don't think he's good enough half the time are the, uh, are the Argentinians themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, when they see how. Stupid noise that was. I don't know, yeah, it was a bit of a stupid noise. <laughs> <laughs> I, used to <laughs> between a word I used to work. I used to, I used to work with a guy, he used to do that quite a lot. Mmm. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. He's a very good player. Mmm. Gab. Mmm. Gab. Mm. <laughs> hey, Gab, what do you think of Wackim Love? <laughs> I'm gonna whack him love. <laughs> the Cardi Gab, top three, is he gonna leave Inter? Craig says he needs to go to a bigger club. Uh, yeah, you can imagine Inter fans take, a, uh, take being told that he kind of needs to move to a bigger club about <laughs> as well as uh, Tottenham fans uh, uh, take it when, uh, when people say that about Harry Kane. Um, look, I mean, he's been around for a while. Uh, he's, he's, still, he's still young. Uh, if Real Madrid show up with a big offer, uh, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to be easy, I think, to say no if you're talking north of 100 million. Uh, but equally, he's really taken to the fact. I was very skeptical when when he was given the captain's armband, uh, but he's really turned into a leader at the club. He's matured tremendously from uh, from the sort of guy he was. Uh, it was a couple of years ago, you know, when he was uh, when he was trolling. Uh, his uh, his wife's ex-husband and on social media and stuff like that. So, look, um, he is a phenomenal center forward. And if you're talking uh, that kind of central striker, yeah, it's it's a short list. Uh, it's Kane, it's it's Lewandowski, maybe some Cavani, not too many others. Exactly. We're not. We don't back away from this upsetting any fans because we know that we know some of the Italian fans are. Uh, fans of Italian football are a little bit touchy, a little bit tender. And Roma lost again yesterday as well. Oh, we lost against, against Spal, lost against Spal at home. Good. Do you remember how upset they got when they were questioned? Yes. Jim, what's his name? The owner was going Palotta. to come in. Jim Palotta. Palotta. Jim, I, Jim was going to drive down and come in. That never happens. Oh, what they were going to do. Oh, dear. Oh, we were quaking in my boots down here. Move on, Dad, move on. Adrian's not happy, Shaq. What the hell was Donnarumma doing? And can you think of a less impressive midfield than the one AC Milan fields game after game? I don't know what Donnarumma was doing. It was, it was a poor goalkeeping error from, um, from, I mean, still a teenager who I seem to expect a whole lot more of. He just put that down as one of those things. Great cross, though. That was a good yeah. cross. It was one of those crosses that tempted him. A little too much, apparently. A little, bit, a little bit too much. Why does Gab and the pundits from the Serie Awesome podcast hate Inter so much? <laughs> oh, Gab. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Gab. <laughs> well, um, I can't speak for, for, for Mina and, uh, and Paolo, but um, look, the fact of the matter is, 
I, I can only speak for myself, but I'm not sold on the job Spalletti's doing thus far. I, I oh. think Spalletti is, in many ways, one of the very best coaches uh, in Serie A. Who's your and Italian team, Who do you progress. support? Ancelotti. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> team Ancelotti. Team Carlo. Team Carlo. See, that's the thing. It is... I don't know. Why am I even bothering? I don't know. What are you going to say? Because just because <laughs> Gab's got an opinion about his thoughts about Inter Milan and Spalletti, why do people necessarily uh, position that as hating? It's, it's just a weird. It's just a weird mindset that, that that supporters of sport, I suppose you can whether it be any sport, think there's a hatred from people because you have an opinion that doesn't sit with their opinion. During your playing careers, did any opponent celebrate like the assistant coach of Chelsea in front of your dugout or in your face, and what were your reactions? I don't recall that oh. happening to me. Did anyone ever say anything once they scored past you or anything like that? I don't know. I, I, it's too many to yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah, I kind of blank those things out. I, it's too I don't know. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't hear those things. No? Nobody comes in my, nobody's come in my face and said anything. Sir. Right. Go on, Gab. Gab. Yeah. Now, I was just going to say, right, imagine you were the sort of footballer who enjoyed winding up others after you scored. Surely Shaka, you would have assumed, <laughs> would be one of the least wind upable players <laughs> on the pitch. Not to mention he's a goalkeeper. I mean, come on now. Surely there'd be easier. I, I would imagine Craig would probably be slightly easier to wind up than Shaka, no? Oh, I was easy to wind up. Well, <laughs> oh, I was easy to wind up. I just, I, I had my moments. <laughs> Shaq, big, Shaq just went, like, any day when Shaq up, he used to just say, I've got a white Maserati. <laughs> I did not have a white Maserati. What colour was it? I've got a yellow Maserati. I, was it racing car red? I've got a red Maserati with big Shaq as a number plate. Yeah. I'm not going to be wound up. I'm not contributing to this rather juvenile discussion. <laughs> wow. Did anyone ever get in your ear? Did they ever get... Get you going. Let me get my ear. Eh? <laughs> Mark calling Austin. Mark hey. calling Austin. Oh, yeah. Listen, that was all part of the game. I, I'd, I'd have run in with lots. One, one of them I'm not going to mention because. Oh, what, you, why even say it then? Because it's just I'm not. I'm not giving him the. It was a shadow. I'm not oh, giving yeah. him. I'm not giving <laughs> him the platform. Think of five minutes shadow. That's it. That's the end of the anecdote. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh. That, wasn't that an anecdote? I didn't, well, I was, yeah, of I didn't course it wasn't, because you said I, I, someone well, did once. I didn't tell, you, the, tell I you. I didn't tell you the story. I just said I got involved, so that wasn't the story. But I'm, <laughs> gonna say it was. So I'm not giving them my platform. Well, you've already started. <laughs> Idiot. Idiot. Absolute, oh, absolute. Idiot. Ah, oh, that's it. Right, we're done. Extra time for extra time. All oh, right, we are done. That's <laughs> it. Extra time, extra time. ESPN. Well, and extra time, I suppose. We'll be back tomorrow. What's happening tomorrow? Arsenal, Leicester. Monday. Monday tomorrow. I'm, I'm only sure tomorrow. Oh, what are you going to do with your day off? Not a day off. Roll soccer marathons. Not a day off. Wayne Rooney scored again. Oh. oh, oh! Somebody calls Emmy. <laughs> Cole Salazar. The hotline.